Okay, in this video, I kind of want to do a overview of reliabilism in the branch of philosophy called epistemology. Reliabilism is a general field of arguments and theories about about knowledge itself. And now I'm kind of thinking about a lot of different articles here um, for and against reliabilism, and I have a lot of videos on this and about certain articles for and against it. Um, I do have a lot, I do have a good amount of stuff on that. So, um, I kind of just going to, I kind of want to just go over that and talk about, talk about what that is and thoughts to and for it here. Reliabilism is in the kind of thought process in, in epistemology called externalism. And there's internalism and there's externalism. Externalism is the general field of theories. Reliabilism is one of those, one of those one of those theories, and there's many different kinds of reliabilism also. Um, the whole thought process with externalism is that justification and knowledge does not come through cognitive access to your to your beliefs, and, and, or they don't come from mental states. They don't come from, justification and knowledge doesn't come from what's in here. They don't, they don't come from, um, you know your beliefs and propositions that you hold to be true, and your co and your system of beliefs that you have. That is not what justifies a belief, um, or that can be what ju what justifies a belief. But you are not responsible for knowing what justifies it, and your your the 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 the, ju the justification and the possible knowledge of certain beliefs is not internal. It is not, you, it, 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 it can occur without access to your, to, without cognitive access to your beliefs and without access to mental states. So that can be like, and reliabilism is that you have justification and knowledge based upon a reliable virtue of gaining beliefs or um, a reliable process. I'm going to mostly talk about reliable process sort of thing here. There is reliable virtues, um, and there are virtues, and that's kind of a different kind of re reliableism. There's virtue reliableism, and there's process reliableism. And there's different different kind of variable varying theories between that. Um, and there's also another general field of reliableism. Um, but virtue reliableism says that there are certain virtues that are good in forming your beliefs and if you form your if you form your beliefs with um, I guess good or rational or responsible virtues of obtaining beliefs then your beliefs are justified and possibly have knowledge but specifically with the process reliableism is that if you form your belief via a reliable process, then you have a justified belief. Um, it's also having a causal component between how you got that belief and the belief itself, and that causal component is part of what justifies it. And there are non-causal varieties of reliables, and there are causal, causal varieties. Um, a non-causal variety would be like... Um, not saying that there's a causal that is saying that there is no causal connection between your belief and, and the process that you got it with um, and that you don't really have it's kind of like taking away responsibility for how you how you how you how you got that belief so in my opinion a causal form of, of reliableism is more tenable than a non-causal variety but um, there are people certain people who um, argue reliabilism. Process reliable. Uh, the process reliabilists include people like um, Alvin Goldman and uh, William Alston to, to an extent. Not, you know, not really though. Um, and there are a lot of other different thinkers who argue ex externalism. And um, there are a lot of people who argue against it like uh, Richard Feldman and Earl Connie. Um, Lawrence Bonger, um, let's see who else, I'm trying to think here, 
um, rather Chisholm, and there's a lot of different. Um, th there's a lot. There's, 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 there's a lot of different writers on the for or against kind of reliableist kind of thing. So, um, my personal opinion is that um, we must have an internal aspect. We must have a aspect of context or perspective in justification or knowledge of our of our, of, of our beliefs and stuff like context or perspective context is not it's not the correct word but perspective having a perspectival aspect in how you got your belief um, and that's pretty much um, uh, that's basically how you get there <laughs> my fiance needs a pen so I'm trying to figure out how to get that to her right now <laughs> I'm sorry um, I'll just go on with the video hopefully she'll come in here <laughs> um, and pretty much the whole thing is that Earl, uh, Earl, Fel, Earl, Earl Connie and Richard Feldman argue that there is a generality problem with uh, as to the as to the field of of reliableism, and that is as to um, it's too general the question as to what has to be has to be reliable. Is it and it's kind of, kind of you saying that we have to be have to be more specific as to what is necessary to be reliable. Um, and personally, I don't. And um, Lawrence Bonger, in his um, article against externalism, gives a lot of cases of clairvoyance, trying to kind of be the advocate of the of the externalist, and is saying that, um, and giving he gives all these different cases of clairvoyance, and tries to make case as to how one could be justified. Of gaining a belief that you have no internal um, perspective of, and having it be justified, um, and possibly the possible knowledge, and he cannot come up with that. Um, now I have other videos which are probably more specific on this point, um, because they're more specific to certain articles, and I cannot and I cannot remember everything on the articles um, at this moment. But I kind of want to do a little bit of a over of an overview here. Um, as to I, I in my and as to what my, as to what my opinion here is as for virtue reliableism I need to read more on that um, however I don't see very much how that could work either I think there has to be some kind of internal perspectival element um, as to have any as to have any possibility of justification I think it's there's a re a remote possibility um, of being justified in a belief that you got via a reliable process um, as to, you know, if you got something via a process there's a remote chance of that being justified, but there, I don't think there's really any way that we can formulate a reliableist theory that you know um, gives us a formula for con for, you know Guaranteed justification of any belief, you know, as long as we apply this formula or, or even knowledge. That's my personal opinion on it. However, with internalism, whether it be evidentialism, and evidentialism is just that we have to have some sort of there's a evidence, there's an evidential aspect, whether it has to be evidence or reasons for any belief that we have. And if we if they if we want that to be justified, we have to have some some kind of um, have to have some kind of, uh, um, sorry, I just lost, lost, my, lost, my, lost my train of thought. We have to have some kind of, um, internal aspect to it. We have to have some, some sort of internal perspectival aspect in, in order to have a formula which, which we can apply to any belief to gay, to guarantee justification or knowledge. So, um, that's kind of my thoughts on it, on the whole thing, and I'm, 
again I'm a lot more specific in uh, in, uh, in other videos and uh, I should have mentioned um, Richard Foley uh, because I just did a video on his article which is called what's wrong with what's wrong with reliabilism but I don't remember enough to you know um, talk about that right now so you can go to that video which I did I'm gonna be uploading soon if you have any questions or if you think if you're or if you'd like me to um, be more specific on something here um, then comment below uh, and if you want um, a article talked about on this channel or if you're looking or if you look if you're looking for more um, if you're looking for more um, specific talks on this or more specific talks on articles then I do have a playlist which is which has the title of epistemology on it which has about 50 videos in it um, 50 or more I think that has a lot of other different things for you there um, and I Every time, every time I have, I have a day off, I try to I try to make more videos, and I usually will always do at least one epistemology video. So let me know what you are thinking. If you want to comment anything below, just do just do that. And thank you.